Hey guys, so today is just going to be a quick monthly favorites and so let's just get into it. First favorite I want to talk about is this Nivea Pulse, Nivea Men Pulse Shave Balm Insensitive. Now everyone knows that Nikki Tutorial raves about this and it's very good as a primer. It is very good as a primer. Um, what I find is that my makeup lasts longer. It actually looks better like my skin looks smoother with any type of foundation i put on top of it and i really like it this favorite is this eco styler gel the one in crystal and this one tends to have more hold this one i do find that it flakes a little bit but only if you like leave it in your hair for too long and don't wash it out okay so my next monthly favorite is this um shampoo this is from Shimmering Lights Shampoo Blonde and Silver. Basically, this is a shampoo for people. It's a purple shampoo for people with like blonde hair or like silver hair. Um, the purple helps take the brassy tones out of your hair. But I actually use this for my braids. You know, you want your hair smelling good, especially if you have so much braids. And I like this more so for the smell because the smell stays in my braids and i love good smelling hair next favorite is this oh my god you guys know i have really bad acne problems or i suffer from breakouts whatever you want to call it but this is um saint ives fresh skin apricot scrub and this is the natural exfoliant 100 percent natural exfoliant um, but I know some of these have like different levels or like different there's a different version of this basically one that doesn't really exfoliate as much but I really have been loving this this has really been helping out my skin my skin just feels more healthy cleaner and after I use that scrub my skin seems more vibrant this um, monthly favorite is these Japanese cherry blossoms, the body lotion and also the body mist. I've gotten this for a present, um, for a Christmas present, I think. Yeah, but I got it late around New Year's. Anyway, I got this as a present from my um, stepmom, and this smells so good. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with cherry blossoms, but that's like a whole nother story. Um, my next favorite is this brush from Sonia Kashuk. This is actually in a limited edition um, thing, but I'm sure you can find a brush like this. This is a kind of a typical brush, a dome shape kind of blush brush, um, I would call this. But I use this basically for bronzer and I just use it to like bronze up my cheeks or sometimes to um set my contour I use this and it's just so fluffy and the way it just distributes product is not like you just put it on and it's a dot like it distributes product beautifully and I really like it and it's very very soft next product I've been loving is actually this um Ruby Kisses 3D face creator and Alyssa Ashley and Arnell Armand, um, they're twins, and they both rave about this product. I really like it because it's easy to blend out. It's easy to blend out. These do run more warm, but this in each quad, it's a shade that's warmer and a shade that's cooler. But they are both, I find them to both be warm. I did contour with this palette today, and what I do is... First, I go in with an angled contour brush and put the darker color. And then when I blend it out, I take some of that um, warmer color to blend it out. And yeah, that's, but I really love this. It makes, it sits well on the skin, especially for five bucks. <laughs> like, I really love this. My next favorite has been this LA Pro Girl Concealer in Warm Honey. 
Now, when I when I first watched like makeup videos and stuff like that, everyone was using fawn. Everyone was using fawn from LA Girl. Everyone was using that color. Like especially the brown girls. If you were dark skin, everyone was using fawn. So I got fawn, and then it was too yellow on me. Like it was too too yellow. And me personally, I feel like my undertones are more on the red side or like. I don't know it was just too yellow for me it just looked way too yellow for me so um then i tried toffee then i tried cool tan then it was really hard finding a good color that looked nice like a natural highlight on me but this color i feel like looks the best i have it on today i've been using it for um a few weeks now and i really love this color so if you are kind of my skin tone then maybe this will work for you but this is probably my forever in my makeup life favorite is this Kiko highlighter stick it is just a basically cream highlighter whoa look it's right here it's basically has if not the same more intensity than ColourPop shadows and that is intense it's just very reflective I'll blend it out for you so you can see how pretty it is because it looks kind of starky when you first look at it but it blends in very well so if you have a darker skin tone don't be that shy to use this because it's very especially when you blend it in with your foundation it's very nice I use it as a highlight almost pretty much every day and I also use it in the center of my lips just to make my lips look more plump with most mostly every day when i'm wearing i'll just put a brow lip liner clear gloss and this in the center your lips will look so plump and so nice next monthly favorite has got to be like it has to be my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade and uh in the color dark brown now a lot of people I used to be a pencil girl like I used to be like oh those high-end you know brow pomades they look so like hard to use why even bother so and every time I was kind of scared to actually get this even though everyone uses it like everyone if you do makeup and you don't know about this I don't know about you but um <laughs> everyone used this but I seen when the, it was like a sharpie brow trend going on this would be what people would use to get those sharpie brows and i used to think like why would people use that why are people using this horrible product i used to think it was a product that was making people's brows look so harsh and weird and like sharpie markers but it it wasn't the product it was the way people were using it this is very hard to use but as time goes on you really um I guess you get used to using it and you can finesse it and when you do finesse it what? your eyebrows will be on fleek I get the most compliments on my brows when I use this next favorite and last favorite has to be my mega protein mascara from wet n wild I love 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 with all my heart this mascara <laughs> I've been using this ever since I started doing makeup ever since i started doing my makeup and what i find with this mask it really it really helps grow my lashes because i what else would i don't do it anything else i used to put um jamaican black castor oil on my um eyelashes but i don't anymore so it's ha it has to be this this is, and i love this it it doesn't also it doesn't only grow my lashes but it makes my lashes look and you can see How long my lashes look so if you're if you, this is more of a lengthening mascara for me if you if you're looking for more of a volumizing mascara maybe this won't work for you and what I find is that this mascara actually works better for me when I um when it's a little drier when you first get it it'll be a lot like liquidy but when it starts to dry out that's when it's the best so yeah, those are my monthly favorites and I hope you guys enjoy. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe and see you guys next time.